insight. Stories of modern man's search for meaning. Freedom. Love. Insight. When God created you, he had an idea of the person he wanted you to be. Your real self is to be that person in all its uniqueness. Some people discover their real selves, and so they direct their actions and lifestyle in accordance with it. As a result, their lives take on a beautiful kind of depth and wholeness. Other people suppress their real selves. They define themselves in terms of other people's expectations. That's too bad because our happiness is bound up with being the person God made us to be. for this stuff. <laughs> to our combined success, Catherine, may we sell a dozen paintings. Oh, at least. <laughs> as if touched by the hand of God. Mm -hmm. No kidding, Piggy, what is this? Ulrich, Ulrich, would you like some wine? Wait until you taste this. <laughs> no, thank you, that's kind of you, but no. Well, all right, but it really is superb. No. It's such a shame. The doctor should be sued. Ulrich should sue him for everything. Do you think the doctor meant to blind him? The doctor is a professional. Professionals do not make mistakes. You're a professional painter. You've never made mistakes? Of course, of course I've made You've mistakes. You've never thrown out a painting? You've never hidden one under the bed? Catherine, we are talking about a human being. You can't put a human being under the bed. He's a human being, an artist. A human being he is, an artist he isn't. His uncle told him he was a painter, so he became a painter. But his uncle is a great painter. His uncle is a relative. Look, if my uncle was a great painter and told me that I was a great painter and sent me money every month to live, as his uncle sends him money every month to live... Well, if my <laughs> uncle were a monkey, even if he were a great monkey, and he sent me money every month to be a monkey, I'd look at myself all over first to see if in my own eyes I looked like a monkey. Then I might try swinging on a few trees. And if I found I fell out of a lot of trees, I'd send back my relative's money and assure him he was not a monkey's uncle. Monkeys? Who's talking about monkeys? Oh, monkeys, painters, it doesn't matter. You've got to know what you are and who you are. <sighs> Ulrich Mast has never sold a single painting in his life. True, but Ulrich has great erudition. True, but you've got to admit that Ulrich is extremely well read. Well read, yes. He should teach, that's what he should do. I've been telling him that for years. He should teach. Well, Leon Sobel never stops asking him. That's the place for him, Sobel's school. Whew. A lot of good people there. You may be right. He's an authority on the German school. Ah. As long as his uncle gives him money, he'll go on pampering himself. He'll go on drinking and wasting his life. His uncle is not going to give any more money. Uh, Catherine, Marcel, have you heard? My uncle has died. Mm. Thank you, Piggy. Poor Ulrich. 
What's to become of him? Don't be frightened. Franz? Who? <laughs> that was a good trick, Franz. Uh, how, how did you get past me? Franz? You think I'm Franz Lopez? I am not Franz Lopez. Of course, it's not Franz Lopez. Uh, who is it then? It is God. God. <laughs> Franz, that is a little presumptuous, even for you. W would you like some tea while I berate you for your blasphemy? Ulrich. Yes, yes. And why shouldn't God have some tea? You like sugar, God? I hope so, because I am going to give you one lump. And for me, one lump as well. Ah, so you have heard that my uncle has died, and you have come to console me. <laughs> Word travels unbelievably quickly. Well, you mention something to Marcel, and then everybody knows. But I don't need your pity. No. I will sue the doctor. I will make him pay I will survive. You have many friends who would help you. All you have to do is ask. Oh, I wouldn't ask for a penny from any of you. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction for all the encouragement that none of you ever gave. Friends? You think my friends are friends? No. Only respectful, like Sobel. I awe them with my brains, my erudition. See, I, I read books. None of you read. I, you hover around me to hear my opinions. I gather you don't think much of the gift of intelligence. Intelligent people teach. And you will not teach. You know I will not teach. I, I have skill. I am an artist. Damn it, I am an artist. Yes, I see what you mean. Huh? Do, do I detect a note of sympathy there, but for the grace of God, you are saying? No, no, I, I wouldn't say that. If you are God, then you have played one hell of a trick on me. God, you could have let me sell a painting. One painting. All these years, I've had one dream. One oh, dream. Yes, I know. A picture hanging in Leon Sobel's window. Went right in the middle of it. Ulrich Nast on a brass nameplate. Right there on 57th Street. I, I, I don't want to teach in the man's school. I want to hang in his window. That damned doctor. He is not damned. He's merely in torment. He, he is in torment. What about me? He has taken away my life. He's taken away your sight. You're still alive. You're 43 years old and you are alive. Lautrec was 37 when he died. Yes, but he knew. He knew his powers. He never stopped doubting. Doubt. All artists have some doubt. Then you admit that you doubt, too. Huh? Oh, no, I, I know what you're thinking. But I do have talent. Some people develop later in life than others, that's all. Uh, oh, oh, yes, I, I had time yet. I, I had a, a, a great work in me, and then that doctor has stolen it from me. Are you so sure? Oh, yes. I had seen flashes of it in this Odd painting in that, flickering, unfocused. Oh, yes, but I had a masterpiece in me. And I should like to think it was God's will that I should have painted it. And his whim that I will not. His whim? 
You think God plays games with human aspiration? You think the human race is some toy that God just throws arbitrarily up in the air to smash into a million pieces? Ulrich! I do not play games. I can see. My God. At last. So, <clears throat> you would like to think that it is God's will that you paint and his whim that you will not. My whim! You think it's as arbitrary as all that? You are my creation! You had this idea that you are some sort of an accident. You have never sold a painting. You've never even really liked one painting that you've ever done. Have you ever asked yourself why? Yes. No, no, you haven't asked yourself anything in years. Your life is built upon deception after deception. You will not teach. There are many teachers. And there are many artists. Excellent artists. You are not one of them. You know that. A voice has been telling you so for a long time. A voice inside you, my voice. Your voice? I, I haven't heard. Well, you haven't listened. Ulrich, teaching was the only thing that mattered to you. I gave you a fine mind, a mind capable of knowing the truth, and you've known the truth for some time, but you have stubbornly refused to accept it. Ulrich, I'm God. Are you trying to tell me that your uncle had no great influence on you? My uncle... He, he was a great artist. Yes, he was. I gave him a superb talent. He, he wouldn't mislead me. No, not willingly. He loved me. Enough to make you over into his own image. Oh. No. Yes, and you, you accepted his image of you and you cast out your own. No. He bought your life with a few dollars every month. I'm dreaming this. None of this is happening. Oh, why don't you open up your eyes? Now, sight is so important to you. Look around you. You have very little time. Little time? Go on. Use your eyes. Feast on the sights of your room. This is your whole world here, isn't it? Oh, you know your world already. You see it clearly then. Good. Let's go. Go? I'm to die then? Ulrich, if you think that without sight you cannot live, you're already dead. Come! No. Uh, please, I, I... I don't want to die. Not yet. All right. T take away my sight. Only let me live. Ah. <laughs> I suppose I've been a great ass. I wish you wouldn't malign my beasts. <laughs> God help me. I'm trying. Tell me what to do. You choose to live? To truly live? I do. Without self-pity? Yes. Without vengeance? Absolutely. I want to live. Even without sight. It, if you say I must. But God... Well, I, I have truly believed in what I was trying to accomplish. <clears throat> I, 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 must it be a complete waste? I, I mean, I, w I will try to l do what I can to make my life useful, only... Ulrich Nast, what is it that you want? I want a picture of mine to hang in Leon Sobel's window. Oh. A, a toast uh, <coughs> to you both and to painting. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, Marcel, Ulrich is looking better than I've ever seen him. She's right, Ulrich. What's your secret? Maybe Ulrich has found a woman. <laughs> a woman? <laughs> yes, that's no. it, right? Yes, oh, no, it is. No, no. No, no, no. What is it that does? <laughs> it's very simple. I'm painting again. Painting? Yes, uh, painting, you say? It's most, uh, most extraordinary. <laughs> I, I know you think I've lost my mind, but it's true. I'm involved in a miracle. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, well, it certainly is wonderful news. Don't you think so, Catherine? I imagine actually painting. Um, well, Rick, what subject have you chosen? I am painting God. God. Uh, well, it never has been, been done uh, effectively, God. <laughs> My friends, try not to think me mad. I have no explanation for it either, except to say that he's come to me and he's sitting for me. Sitting for you? Yes. You, you have a client and it is God. <laughs> Do you paint him with your eyes open or closed? <laughs> oh, what, what am I talking about? It wouldn't matter. <laughs> he, he, he permits me to see when he's with me. He has granted me my masterpiece. Of course, it will be my final work. Of course. Of course. At last, a work worthy of Sobel's window. Uh, Leon Sobel? What other Sobel do we know? None. 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 Uh, Ulrich? Y yes, Marcel? May we see the work in progress? Uh, no. Oh, no. I will call you when it's finished. It should take another week or so, and then... I want you to bring Sobel to me. But Ulrich, suppose Leon won't come. Oh, for that, he'll come. Yes, well, uh, what time is it? Uh, 3.45. Oh, I, I must go. God is waiting. <laughs> uh, Marcel. Uh, yes. Catherine. Uh, oh, thank you both for the wonderful meal. Goodbye, all. Oh. Thank you, Piggy. And you are right. For this, Sobel will come. Well, something terrible is happening. Perhaps not so terrible. It, it's a pity, but, but he's so happy. Yes, but what are we to do? Remember, he no longer has his uncle to support him. Money. He's going to need money. We will ask everybody to donate. Oh, oh you know, Ulrich, he won't accept charity. Yes, yes, so somehow he will have to make it seem like it is not charity. Well, what could be simpler? Hey, maybe, maybe Sobel will actually take the painting. No? What, are you too crazy? Ulrich Nast, that no talent? You want me to take a picture of his? And we want you to put it in your front window. My front window? Ulrich Nast in my front window? It's his dream. Sobel's window is everybody's dream. But this is a special painting. He's blind. Ulrich Nast, a no-talent painter when he could see, is now painting blind, and this you want me to put in my front window? It won't cost you a cent. We've collected $8,000. You want a donation? I'll give you a donation. But we have to buy the painting. Ulrich will not accept charity. You don't have to take charity. He's a brilliant man. He wants to teach you my school. The door is open. The window is closed. Leon, where is your heart? $8,000 you collected. $8,000. Hmm. His dream, eh? His only dream. It doesn't have to stay in long. But it must be in the center with a plaque with his name on it. Uh, it's good publicity, Leon. Blind Painter has painting in Leon Sobel's window. The great and powerful Leon Sobel. Hmm. Now, don't sell me. Catherine, don't sell me. If anybody's going to sell Leon Sobel, it'll be Leon Sobel. I, uh, I don't have to pay a nickel? Not a nickel. When he's finished, he will call us, we will call you, and together we will go to see the painting. And you will praise it. Praise it? 
Of course I'll praise it. If I'm going to take it, I'm going to praise it. Well, you don't happen to know what he's painting. He's painting God. Are you satisfied? I'm odd. I think I caught you. Well? Well? God? Lord, are you there? Hello, Marcel. It's finished. Bring Sobel to me. Yes? Yes. Come in. Hello, my friend. Hello. I brought Leon and uh, and Catherine. Oh, Leon, Catherine. Uh, so Ulrich asked you, you are well? I am well, Leon. I have heard you have made a great painting. Oh, my hope is that you will take it for your window. Uh, well, then, well, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, sir. this way. Ah. Leon, you, you will take it for your window, then? Huh? Why, I would be honored to own this myself. If you want $20,000, it's yours, but, but of course there is no price for this. You really cannot see, yet you have painted what you have painted. A miracle. Uh, so, what are your plans? What, uh, what now? Well, to tell you the truth, Leon, I, I, I thought perhaps I might try teaching. Teaching? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> perhaps at last I can talk you into joining my staff. Oh, I will have the picture picked up tomorrow. Come and talk to me when you feel like it. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Unbelievable. Leon. Shh, 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 shh. shh. There, Piggy? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. What does it say? A portrait of God, Ulrich Nast. Excuse me.
Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who seek to share the good news of God's love with all their brothers and sisters in the human family. Mm -hmm.